in this video we will create a production container for this uh, react app and uh, we will deploy it to google cloud aws and azure so let's start first i'll create a file called docker file and uh, of course make sure you have uh, installed uh, docker in your machine and uh, in the docker file we have to s start from the uh, container itself what type of container will it be and we will start with from this container will be a node container and uh, here i will specify the version of node so i will pick 15.4 and uh, i will name it as build uh, i will explain uh, later why i named it like this so let's start with this uh, container uh, we have to specify the working directory i will call it app so you can put whatever you want here and let's copy the packages the json to that uh, uh, working directory so this means uh, we have to copy this package.json dot means uh, the working directory here so i will add a star here the star means uh, that we can add anything uh, in between package and json uh, this means that we will copy package.json and also package log.json so we copied those files then we have to run npm install so this is self-explanatory so we have npm already installed in the container because we are using a node environment here so that's why this is uh, important after we installed all the packages we have to copy again all the files to the working directory so this means all the other files we have to copy them to the working directory and then we have to build the container so run npm run build so if we go to package.json we have a build uh, script here and uh, what this will do it it will create a, a distribution folder so let's run that command npm run build so we can uh, visualize that folder so we have a build uh, folder here which uh, will have all the necessary files and uh, we uh, completed the first stage so uh, this will be a multi uh, stage uh, docker build uh, which means that uh, we will have another stage so uh, we have all these files inside this docker container but we need only the build folder so uh, there is no need to keep all of them uh, we can uh, have a smaller container and to do to do that we have to uh, add another from here and this col container will have uh, nginx so i'll pick the latest version so if i want the latest version i will just uh, add nginx here or i will add uh, 1.19 and uh, in this nginx uh, uh, container uh, we need to add here i will create another directory nginx and here i'll create a file nginx dot conf and uh, here i'll paste this uh, configuration so th there's a lot of text uh, but uh, you can uh, copy this file uh, on the source code in the video description so uh, this is required to access the file index.html directly here so the build has index.html and all the javascript files that we need so uh, we have to copy this file to this uh, nginx container so copy nginx 
nginx.conf to etc nginx nginx.conf so we added our own nginx configuration then and the second uh, step is to add uh, the build folder to uh, the nginx html so that's why we name this as build here so here i will copy from build so this is a command from this uh, container here which has this build folder we'll copy up build we specified the working directory to be up so it uh, makes sense that uh, the uh, build folder is up slash build and we have to copy this from user uh, user share nginx html and that's it so this is our uh, uh, docker container to build this react app uh, in production so uh, to run this uh, simply run docker build uh, i will specify the name for this container so to specify the name for the container you have to add here minus t and uh, the name of the container i'll specify it to app then we need the context which is uh, this uh, directory so we specify it with dot and that's it so we'll build this docker file and we will assign it a name to app let's build it so it's building now the container has been built now it's ready to be deployed but before we deploy it let's see if uh, this is running uh, fine but uh, by running it on the browser so to do it run docker run our app but uh, we have to specify our port so minus p here and uh, the port of our container will be 80 so this will run on port 80 and uh, uh, this is the port of our browser so i'll put 80 it will work on my machine but if uh, it doesn't work on your machine you can put another port like 888 doesn't matter so i'll put 80 here and uh, this uh, will uh, run our docker container now i'll go to my browser run here localhost just localhost because 80 is the default port and we can see our react app so we uh, created a docker container to be deployed now and now let's deploy it i will close this uh, ide because we don't need it anymore so i'm logged into my google cloud platform now and uh, we will we will use two uh, services container registry and cloud run so let's go to the container registry and uh, before adding uh, anything here we need uh, to install a google cloud sdk so make sure to download the right installer for mac os you download it here also for windows and linux and also make sure to add it to your path once it is completed you can use gcloud so uh, i hope already have uh, my gcloud configured and now uh, let's uh, uh, log in first so in order to push containers to the google cloud registry we have to be logged in first so gcloud auth login so uh, this uh, will uh, connect with our google cloud account and uh, we will allow everything and uh, now we are logged in if we go to our uh, terminal we will see this so i'll clear now and uh, now we can uh, push our image to the docker uh, registry to the container registry sorry so first we have to tag the image so docker tag the name of the image is app and uh, we will tag it to google cloud 
registry so gcr.io slash we need the project name so if we go to our cloud platform click uh, our project here and uh, this is my project name so I'll copy this ID here and uh, I'll add it here so this is our project ID and then uh, we need the name of uh, our container so this should be the same with uh, the last one I tagged this and then we need to push it so I'll remove this and we'll push it and this will push the container to our Google Cloud platform so let's wait till it's completed so the image is pushed now uh, we will see the image here so in the container registry we have our app image and uh, let's go here and let's copy the URL so I'll copy the URL here because uh, we will need it and uh, let's go now to the cloud run so here we need to create a service we need the service name I'll call it app uh, the region you can select your own region uh, we need the container image URL so here we can select it directly and this is the container the last container that we pushed so I'll select this and this was uh, our container we can add some advanced settings here like variable secrets etc but the only thing that we will change is uh, the port so our container port is 80 so I'll put 80 here and we don't need to change anything else there next so uh, we need to allow an uh, unauthenticated invocations so this is public and that's it so let's create this and let's wait till it's completed so it should be fast so it is completed not sure why I made a mistake here uh, the port was 76 here it should be 80 and uh, we have uh, also a URL here if we go to the URL we will see our app deployed so it was this simple this is how we deploy an app to the Google Cloud Run don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you